what is up guys and welcome back to new game plus today i'm going to show you something real quick i have a question on one of my videos for the uh, nintendo 3ds emulator citra running on android and i'm just going to show you real quick how to um instead of installing the cia file that you get from 3ds how to make it more compatible with citra converting them into the format cci um, I'm gonna have the link down below in the video description because you're gonna need to download the source called the batch CIA 3ds decryptor uh, to uh, convert CIA file or 3D or 3ds to CCI which is more compatible with the Citra emulator um, one of the good things about this is one when you install the CIA file you have a copy of the CIA file in your device and the game installed so basically it's taking two space uh, using this tool is basically gonna kind of trim trim it out in a way and it's gonna have that file it's gonna be converted to cci which is already like an iso format so basically you don't need to install the file you can just run it without having to install anything additional additionally using the emulator so it's gonna be and you're gonna be saving a lot more space so you could use this type of file with the emulator on the android Android phone, you could also use it on the computer and your Steam Deck also as well too. So the link is going to be taking you to this page called uh, gbhm.net. Here they have the tool and you can go just click on here to download that tool. And also you can check the developer on the GitHub. He got his GitHub right here so you could check it out too. This tool is safe. I use it until it's time for trimming out my installs. So after you had that downloaded, you're going to see the folder after you start that file is going to be t here it's going to be this file right here so the next thing that you want to do is you gotta grab your cia file right here i have a couple of them uh, that i own i believe this one right here is from either one of them is metroid uh federation force i think the other one is fire emblem so we're just gonna grab one and we're gonna put it in here in this folder we just extracted from that download so after you download this folder, which is gonna be this one right here, you click on the end download and you extract the file. You're gonna have this folder. This folder is right here, which is gonna be this one. It's gonna be bash CIA to 3ds decryptor. Um, the next thing that you gotta do is you gotta drop your CIA file and put it inside this folder. And the next thing that you gotta do to run this is the following. You're gonna click on batch CIA decryptor. So by dropping the file here, basically all of this thing is gonna do the um, the trimming and the conversion of the file from CIA to CCI. Again, you want to do this if you don't want to have double the file. So this file right here, the CIA plus the one that's going to be installed in your C emulator. So it's going to be all over the place. And if you have this file as a CCI, it's basically going to have it in one folder, one location. So you already know where, where all your files are at. And it's going to be less complicated to find it in your, especially if you have it in your Android device so now you're gonna go here and click on batch cia 3ds decryptor that bad you're gonna run this it's gonna be decrypted and it's gonna be running the program right here it's gonna separate all the files from the uh, cia file and it's gonna compile everything into a executable file which is gonna be the cci it's gonna be like a, a regular iso so you don't have to install it you can just run it from from itself you finish please click the click to enter to, uh, to exit there we go it's done so after you do that you're gonna see that the file is basically right here so it's gonna be decrypted it's gonna say decrypted you could change the name after this whatever the game is you could change the name and as you guys can see right here i already had the file so this is the original file the cia and this is a new file the cci so now we're gonna open Citra. Hopefully I have it installed here. Let me double check. I have Citra here installed. Perfect. We're gonna open Citra. And to show you that this work, you can see I have some files over here already. To show you that this completely work, I'm gonna click on low file and we're gonna track the, the file that I have installed right here. So I have it on my S dry decryptor you see right here it says decrypted that's the file that which is this just now we inside the same folder so we're gonna open it as you can see the file is working because automatically i could click on start the file and you saw that file open so as you guys can see this is working and if you guys paying attention you saw that it didn't ask me to install cia or anything like that so when you do install cia 
uh, you basically installing the file is going to be um, looking for the folders inside the emulator where it keeps all the information and on top of that you're going to have the files duplicated in two places the one's going to be in the install and the other stuff that you need to delete but if you have it again as a cci file you don't need to install it you can just run the file and as you guys can see it works perfectly fine and that's the way that i've been running my emulators uh, my Citra emulator i've been running it right like this on my pc my android and also my steam deck i have those files as cci file so i don't have to worry about installing as you guys can see right here on my file is that cci and this is a tool that i use to um basically convert the cia file to cci so it's it's plain and simple and the other stuff that you're gonna do to legally do all of this is my nintendo 3ds is already hacked so basically i just got my game copies these are the only three games uh, that i own so far and you can just copy the game and when you're copying the game from the 3ds it's basically going to convert the file to a cci or a C, uh, i mean cia or a different type of format but this uh, application here can actually uh, decrypt it because you uh, you are copying your own game so you got all the keys and everything needed in order to for this to work properly and after you run this application it will it will want to convert uh the games that you have in here it's going to convert to a cci which is a better format the citra support without any issues well uh this is it for the tutorial guys it's, uh, it's quick simple and easy i hope you guys enjoy and if you have any more questions please make sure to leave it down below in the video description I mean on, on the comments and remember to like and subscribe for more and if you would like to support the channel you could share this uh video as well you can become a member memberships are at slow 99 cents per month i really appreciate all your support and once again thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one